Okay, hi, so in this video we're going to talk about series circuits, right? We're going to go through what a series circuit is, how one is set up, and then we're going to have a look at how you calculate things like voltage, uh, current, and resistance through different components in a series circuit. So let's dive straight in and have a look at a really simple example of a series circuit. All right, so here we go. This is a series circuit. We have here a cell, okay, connected to a bulb and this here is a switch all right but what makes this a series circuit so a series circuit is one where there's no choice um, of where the electrons can go because if you think about where the electrons are going okay there's only one wire so the electrons are traveling around like so like so they don't have any choice they have to go through this bulb okay out the other side they have no choice they have to go through this switch at the moment here the switch is closed so it allows things to flow could be open which would cut uh, the whole circuit altogether so a series circuit means that everything is connected to the same wire all right and when that happens there are a few um, rules okay so the current now remember the current is the flow of electrons and if the electrons cannot choose where they go so there's not more than one path for the electrons to go that means that the current throughout the whole circuit is the same. Okay, so current throughout circuit is constant. Okay, and what I mean by that is that the current here is equal to the current here, is equal to the current over here, etc, etc. Alright, so the current cannot change through a series circuit, it has a fixed value. Alright, the voltage, okay, or I'm going to put in brackets here the potential difference because that's kind of more correct across a component. The voltage is normally what you talk about coming from the power supply, right? So the voltage that comes from the power supply, right, is shared between the components, which means that the potential difference across each component adds up to give the total voltage, okay? So I'll say that PD across components... Okay, in this simple circuit, we've only really got one component, but uh, normally you have more. Okay, adds to give total voltage. Okay, so the potential difference across each component adds to give the total voltage, which comes from the power supply, right? Let's say, for example, in this case, right, I'm assuming you know what these are now, so I'm going to rub them out. Let's say that your cell... Okay, provides six volts, right? And then I put in, uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. And I put in a voltmeter across this bulb. Okay, now I know already what that voltmeter is gonna read because that's the only component in this whole cell, uh, whole circuit, sorry. So all of the potential difference must be taken by this bulb. And so that must be six volts, all right? Because uh, the total voltage of all the components, so there's only one component here, is equal to the total voltage um, provided by the power supply. All right. Also, lastly, resistance. Okay. Resistance of all components. Okay, just like the voltage adds to give the total resistance. Total resistance. All right. So let's have a look now at a slightly more detailed um, circuit where we can do some calculations. All right. So here we go. You have here a series circuit, right, where you have two resistors, okay, placed in series. We have an ammeter here, which means we're going to read the current, right, and we have a cell which produces 9 volts um, as the voltage. Now, what I want to work out is the potential difference, okay, so the PD across each, and sorry for this handwriting, across each resistor. So I want to work out the potential difference across each resistor, okay. First thing I need to do is think about my um, equations which relate voltage, current, and resistance, okay. And that is V is equal to I R. Okay, voltage equals current times resistance. Now, 
where people get confused in these questions is they don't differentiate between the total voltage, total current, and total resistance versus the voltage across a certain component and the current through that component and the resistance of that component. Okay, They're not the same. And in a series circuit, unless you're given the uh, total current, that's what you want to work out, right? So what I'm going to say is that the voltage total is equal to the current total times by the resistance total, right? So I'm looking at this whole circuit. I'm not zoning in on one component. I'm looking at the whole circuit at the moment. So I'm going to put in some numbers. And the total voltage of that circuit must be 9 volts because that's coming from the power supply, right? So I'm going to say that 9 volts is equal to our current, our total current, right, times by our total resistance. And remember I said before that resistance is additive through a series circuit. So it's the sum of all the resistances of all the components. If I have a look, I have a 6 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor, right? And so I'd say that 6 ohms, okay, I'll just do it up here, 6 ohms plus 3 ohms gives me 9 ohms as my total resistance, right? So I'm going to put that in as 9. All right. Uh, let's get rid of that. So 9 volts is equal to current times by 9, obviously. And now if I rearrange, I divide both sides by 9, I get that 1 is equal to the current. Okay. And so the current is therefore equal to 1 amp. All right, and so that's my total current. Now, why did I do that? Well, remember I said that the current stays constant throughout the entire circuit, right? And we need the current to zone in on each component, okay? Because uh, if we don't know the current, then you can't use V equals IR because we don't know the potential difference across each component at the moment either, okay? So you need the total current in order to do calculations in a series circuit, and that's important. So now what I'm going to do is in a separate color i'm going to have a look at each of these resistors separately so i'm going to say this one i need to know the potential difference across this component and this is where um people will obviously mistake this total uh, equation for the individual equations for each component so this time it's the same equation as in v equals ir however this time it's not total voltage and it's not total resistance the current, even though it's not total current, right? It is total current because the current doesn't change in a series circuit. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that the voltage or the potential difference, which is what I'm trying to find this time, is equal to the current, which I know must be 1 because uh, the current throughout the whole circuit is 1, times by the resistance of that component, not the total resistance. And that component has a resistance of 6 ohms, okay? So my potential difference is equal to 1 times 6, which will give me 6 volts. And so this voltmeter here would read 6 volts. All right, and by that same token, if I put a voltmeter across here, I can work out uh, the potential difference across this circuit, uh, uh, sorry, across this resistor here. And so I do the same thing. I set up more equations, right, or another equation even. Okay. Voltage is not total voltage again, it's the potential difference, which you're trying to find, is equal to the current, which remains the same, times by the resistance of that individual component, which is 3. And so that's 3, and so I get voltage, or potential difference, is equal to 1 times 3, which is equal to 3 volts. And so this voltmeter over here would read 3 volts. All right, and now let's have a look at one, uh, one more problem. You can pause the video this time and have a go at it yourself. Uh, and then we'll go through. So this one's slightly more complex. Uh, what you have here is a battery, right? Which is made up of three cells. And each one of those cells is seven volts, all right? And what we want to do is we want to work out the potential difference across uh, this resistor. And obviously work out X as well, which is its resistance. This time... We're not given its resistance, but we are given the current in the circuit, all right? So pause the video now and have a go, and then I'll go through the solution. All right, so I hope you had a go at that. Now, the first thing I need to do is say, well, you have how many cells here? We have one, two, 
three, all connected to each other, and each one of those is seven volts. That means the battery actually is producing 21 volts worth of voltage, right? It's three times seven, because you have three of them. <clears throat> okay, we also know that the total current is two amps, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my total equations, remember? So I said that if you look at the whole circuit um, put together, right? You get that voltage total is equal to current total times by resistance total. All right, this time we have uh, slightly different values to what we had before because we know the voltage, okay? But this time we know the current. Okay, what we don't know is a resistance. So we need to times that by our total resistance. And for the moment, rather than write it in terms of X, I'm just gonna say resistance total and work out what that is. So I need to divide both sides here by two because I don't want two lots of resistance. I want resistance. So divide both sides by two and I'll get 10.5 is equal to resistance. Okay, so the resistance in total in the circuit is 10.5 ohms. I'm not done there though because we have two resistors. So if I say that a resistance total is equal to 10.5 ohms, okay, well, the total resistance is actually the sum of the two resistances, and that is 3 plus x, which is the one we don't know, right? So 3 plus x is 10.5. And so to get x on its own, I need to take away the 3. So I minus 3, and I minus 3 and I'll get 7.5 ohms is therefore equal to x, right? So this here is 7.5, okay? If I get rid of that x, it's now 7.5 ohms, okay? And that's the resistance across, um, through this resistor, right? And so that's one part of the question done. Finally, what I want to work out is the total potential difference, or not the total, sorry, the actual potential difference across that resistor. So now I use V equals IR again. So V equals IR. But remember, this time it's not total values. So what I don't know this time is the voltage because the voltage is obviously shared between those two resistors and I only care about one of them. So voltage equals current. Now that's what does stay constant. So it's two times by the individual resistance across that resistor, which is 7.5. Okay, what I just calculated. And so therefore, the voltage or the potential difference across that resistor is equal to 2 times 7.5, which will give me a grand total of 15 volts as the potential difference. Okay, so here I would have a score of 15 volts on that voltmeter. All right, and that's basically it. So I'm going to stop there. There are a few examples there for you to uh, have a go at. I hope that's made sense. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the other type of circuit, which is uh, parallel circuits, right? And they can sometimes cause confusion. But as long as you remember the rules of both, then you can differentiate between series and parallel. All right, so please do feel free to ask me any questions if anything was unclear, though, by commenting um, in the box below or send me a direct email using the link in the description. But as usual, like and subscribe, please, because it does really help. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.